We're going to use the same file to look at count if, so that's the sales data file. Now the count if works similarly to the sum if, but not quite the same. If we take the count if sheet, we'll see we've already got the month set up in here, so we can actually count how many items were sold in each month. That's equals count if, open brackets. Now you'll see there's only a range and a criteria. There's no separate range. So that you have to count the same column that you're using the criteria against. So our range in this case is the quantity range. The range we actually want is the month range because that's the column we would like to count in. So we're going to go down the month column and count all the occurrences of each month. In this case, one for January and return. So there were nine sales in January. We then drag that down. We can see it counts effectively how many times each month appears in the sales data. So that's counting how many sales there were in each month. And we can see that November is the biggest month for number of sales, which correlates with the data for the actual sales value, which was also the biggest month in November. So that's using the count if, in this case, to run down the month column and count each occurrence of each month value. Now we can also use the count if function for checking values. And we can get it to count how many sales values are equal to $10, which we have in this cell here, by saying equals count if, open brackets, the value range, comma, this cell as our reference. Close brackets and return. And there are actually no sales that have been sold for exactly $10, which actually is unlikely in the makeup of the data that we have. Now we could change that F3 for a criteria that it says more than 10. Now we're having to put speech marks around that criteria because it contains the more than symbol and that returns 45. So there are 45 sales greater than $10. But what you can't do is actually say, well, greater than that cell there, F3, because we end up with one. It's actually saying anything greater than F3, as in the value F3. If what we're trying to achieve here is to ask it to check another cell for the greater than value, and what we actually put here in the criteria is F3. And in F3 is where we put the comparison. It would say greater than 10. And that's what produces the 45 that we've already seen. We could even say greater than 25. And there are 12 cells greater than 25. So it's a little bit well, messy for want of a better term. And if you're checking a cell reference, then that cell reference needs to contain the comparison that you're checking. So more than, less than, not equal to more than or equal to. Or you put that as fixed value in here in the actual criteria, but it would need to be in speech marks, in which case you would end up with either that or that. I've placed a little comment marker there so that they stay on the screen. So that will work, but the cell you're referencing must contain the comparisons. That will work but you need the speech marks around the comparisons and the values inside the formula. So either way, the count if can do both of those, or it can do a straightforward as we've done here, equals count if on a range, checking a value. So effectively that's saying equal to A2. And as you go down the column, it's checking each cell reference because we left it relative. So that's the count if function. It will count the cells that match your criteria of the if part of the statement. So it's joining count and if together.